Welcome back to One on One with Bruce Garriock, and I'm pleased to be joined today by Andre Tournier, the head coach of the Utah Hockey Club. And Andre, uh, let's let's just start with your new home. How's the whole transition been? I know when when you first moved there, you're very excited, and I think just seeing from the early results, you should be excited by the city and the and the results as well. Yeah, first, it's a beautiful city. Uh, you know, that's the way the setup is. Is it's beautiful, uh, just at the foothill. Uh, that that's fantastic, and the people are really nice so far. From the moment we uh, we moved here, that we visit first. From everybody's moving, everybody talk about their neighbor, how how, how friendly they are, and um, uh, how welcome people were. So uh, that was that was great. I think since since the beginning and now our season started we're building that relationship with the fans and fans are so into it and there's a lot of atmosphere at the game so so far it's great you know you look Andre at at uh at your club right now and, and the start that you're off to is you prepare to face the senators on on tuesday night at the, at the delta center and what have you been impressed with in the early going with your club i don't know if i'm impressed but i'm happy about our uh, the way we play both sides of the park, I think we have a good balance. Uh, I think we got better. We get better every day defensively, obviously, like every other team. But I think I'm really happy the way we play against Boston last game. Uh, ob- we we have our four lines can produce. We have a lot of depth up front. Uh, we have speed. So, uh, so far, we use those tools in the, on uh, the right way. You know, I look at you... Um... And the way your franchise, you you named Clayton Keller yeah. as your captain. Uh, it had been a while since the organization that it had a captain. Yeah. What qualities in him did you see, Andre, that that you and and Bill Armstrong felt like he was ready to make that step? Yeah, for people who know Cal, his first or most important quality is such a competitor. He, uh, you know, he doesn't accept anything but the best. And he's really competitive through adversity or uh, in a good time. He, there's there's no pause in his competitiveness. It's always uh, balls out. So I think that that is number one. And he's a guy who's really dedicated to uh, his craft. So if you go from his off off ice training, his summer training, uh, is he he does a lot on the ice as well and skill work or uh, extra work and stuff like that. So I think that is a good example. And the the other thing for us, the third thing, he, he cares so much about that team, about that group of players. Uh, he, he really wants to win and he wants to win with those guys. So I think he always have the back of his teammate behind. He's the guy who comes to see me sometimes, talk about a teammate and how to help him and so on and so forth. So he has he, he cares a lot about his teammate. He's a super competitive and he's so dedicated to his craft. I think he's a really good example for the rest of our crew. When you look at, at your roster and the changes that were made in the off season, when you got to Utah, was that something that the, the owners spoke to you and, and Bill Armstrong about was, hey, we're going to do what you can to try to help this team be competitive? Because I think I think there's been a shift in the thinking of your organization since you moved there from Utah, or pardon yeah. me, from Arizona. Yeah, there's a, first of all, there were a plan in place, you know, uh, when when Bill uh, started that process, uh, when he hired me, we, he was talking about the plan as a five-year plan, and uh, the first two years were about get accumulating assets, which he did, and then the third year was starting to improve the give the, give a chance at our player uh, to have a bigger role but as well start to improve the team which he did last year with the Zucker with the Dumba uh, Bukestad Stetcher etc cetera, etc cetera. And, and this year was the plan was to keep adding so if you look last summer we had a, a key piece on Sean Dursey this summer it's Sergachev it's Marino and, and other guys but on top of it he always put a premium at surrounding the the guys with good veteran the, the guys who won Stanley Cup you know even when we were rebuilding guys like like Andrew Ladd and uh until Strollman and Roussel and uh, Erickson and et cetera et cetera all all guys who uh been in championship team so uh he, he did that and he did this year as well when he brought the the, the Bertuzzo and the Ian Cole and the Stanlin and uh, all those guys won Stanley Cup so I think that's 
that's important for us to, yes, give a chance to our young guys to take the lead and have an important role and uh, bloom, but at the same time to surround them with great leader, with great example, with guys who've been there, been in a lot of situations in the NHL. And I think we Bill uh, achieved that to have a good mix to uh, improve the team with keep roster player, but as well with great leader and great veteran for us. It's interesting you say that, Andre, because I think we've seen the same sort of thing in Ottawa where they brought in guys like David Perron and they brought yep. in a Claude Giroux and they've, they've brought in guys who have, who have won Stanley Cups to surround their young players. Um, you know, Michael Amadio. Yep. How come, like, when you're a team, and, and I, I feel like you in Ottawa want to do the same thing, maybe you guys don't as quickly, but when you're a team that wants to make that next step, how important is it to the organization to have the kind of guys who you mentioned, like Cole and, and, and guys like that, to, to kind of help push those guys? It's I cannot express how important it is. I think it's important to have guys who've been there, guys who have credibility in the room because you know their achievement, you know what, what they're preaching, preaching. They they live by it and they had success with it and they they saw other they have been around great leader. If you look at a guy like Ian Cole, he's been around the Stamkos, Handman, Kucherov, he's been around the Crosby, Letta and Malkin, he's been around the O'Reilly and all those guys in the St. Louis, Pietrangelo and all those guys when they they, they were a championship team. So he, he's been around and so when he talks, you know he's he knows what he's talking about. He's he was in the trenches with those championship teams. So uh, I think that carry a lot of weight. The same thing for Bertuzzo and so on and so forth. So I think that is really important when you have every great team where you have a, a good leader is, is, has a great group beh behind him or around him. You know, you think of whoever the, the leader, uh, if you look at the year of uh, uh, Jonathan Taves in Chicago, okay, Taves, unbelievable leader, but look around him. Look around him, how great. And I always say the player knows. When you talk with Jay Beagle, an example, about their Stanley Cup in Washington, okay, they have a captain. But he doesn't talk about the captain. talk about the leaders around, the Nick Backstrom, the TJ Oshie, et cetera, et cetera. Those are as important as your your captain or whatever. You need to have a support cast. The, the the captain is often as the, the target. If the people talk about him, but it, it's more than him. You need you can have the best CEO in the world if your company doesn't have great leader in it. That won't work. You need to have a great leadership group, and uh, that is important when you have leaders, veteran who's been there, who can support your captain and your leadership group. I think that's what make a difference. How how has I, I I'd be remiss if I didn't ask is how has the how has the team been received in that marketplace and and because I mean, hockey does have a bit of a long history in Salt yeah. Lake City as well. Yeah, I agree with you, Bruce. But it's been amazing so far. That I, we can feel the people are happy to have the team. They, we're, we're we're it's tough to not feel good about yourself because people are so happy to to have the team to see you play. They're excited, so it, it makes us feel really good and. It, it makes you feel relevant and you want to play for them. You want to deliver for them. You want to make sure you, uh, you make them happy. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good partnership so far. I, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about the health of uh, Sean Dursey and, and John Marino here as you uh, yeah. prepare to face the Senators. Yeah, they, they won't play tomorrow, Bruce. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. They, um, they, uh, they have final exam uh, with the doctor, but the the that doesn't look good on the short term. So both of them will be long term. But but when you're in that situation, you've always been the you've always had knowing you back to the '67s, and when you were head, a senator's assistant coach, you've always had a, a a next man up mentality, haven't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's nothing else we can do. We can sit here all day and talk about the player who will not be there. But one thing I know about those guys, they won't help us to win tomorrow. There's, they're not there. So our job is to find a way to win and find a way to make sure we're moving forward. We're 
putting our best foot forward and that's the guy the guy who are available who will help us to do that so i think we're fortunate to have a good depth and have nhl players so we need to get everybody play their a game and it's not every night you can have your a game but every night we can all have our a game we can beat anybody so that's the goal before I let you go here, I got to ask you a couple questions about a couple of friends. Number one, your 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 longtime friend Dave Cameron, yeah, is getting ready to coach the World Juniors here in Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how excited are you for him? That number one, he gets that opportunity again, exactly. and also that he gets to coach in in what let's call it his adopted hometown. Absolutely, I think it, it's unbelievable. This summer, when I, I was with uh, Scott Salmon of the World Championship, and he, they were talking about. Uh, possibly having Dave, uh, if if possible, and I was so excited for him. I think he is uh, he's a great coach. He's been successful. He's been great for our country. Won uh, medal and a lot of levels. So uh, it would be great in Ottawa with the World Junior. It speak for itself. I think the the history was uh, was made a long time ago. So uh, I wish him all, nothing but the best. And and just last question. I I spoke to you before we came on it. As we speak today, it's Brian Kilray's 90th birthday. Yeah. Says not only says a lot about his longevity, but we're talking about a true legend in the game. Oh. Who you had the opportunity to work with when you were with the 67s? Yeah, it, it, he's unreal. His memory, yeah. The, the worst thing you can do is going at the ring with Keller. You 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 meet hundred people. Everybody knows Keller. He knows the son of the the grandson, the cousin. The this guy live in Thunder Bay. This guy live in or so for whatever. It, it's unreal. He knows everybody. He has an unbelievable memory, and he has a story on everybody. It, it, it's unreal. And what a for for me when I was with the sixty seven, it was scout for us. What a great scout he. He, he can see the talent really quickly and he can evaluate the talent and he is such a sharp mind. It's uh, glad to see him uh, having a, a recognition on his night at birdie. It's always a privilege to spend time with you and, and I, I think we both appreciate the time that we've yeah. been able to spend with Brian Kilray. Oh, I, yeah. I really appreciate you joining us here today. Uh, it's always great to catch up with you and, and good luck in Salt Lake City. Andre. Thank you, Bruce. We really appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bruce. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me on.